Hey guys, it's Jake and welcome to Ruby Coding Day 4. Today we're going to be going over basic formatting. So go ahead and create a variable, make it my underscore name, and set that equal to your name. Now below that you're going to do puts my name dot capitalize And then again, puts my underscore name dot upcase. And then again, puts my name. You can see over here what we're going to be putting down capitalize, upcase, downcase, reverse, and length dot downcase. Reverse, and then the last one, oh, got to get rid of that space right there. We're going to do length. Okay, then put end at the bottom, and then come up here to file and save. We're going to name this formatting dot rb go ahead and minimize that and then open your start command prompt with ruby and then pull that file in all right go ahead and hit enter okay let's go over what just happened So here we have a variable that we created and it's Jake Day Williams. And then we told it to put my name and we wanted it to capitalize my name. So if you see over here the output, it shows my name and the first letter is capitalized right here. And then on the next line we told it to put my name dot upcase. And upcase creates a return that cr makes all of the characters uppercase right here. And then puts my name dot downcase made all of the characters down case. Now, if we had made this in all caps lock, um, they, it would have returned uh, all of, it would have returned in lower case. And then the second, the last line, or the second to last line, we made it reverse. And so that's why you see this, the string is coming out reverse. So it's like smelly we ya decage. And then the last thing we had it put out was the length of our string. So, and then we ended it, obviously. So this is a good way to kind of just format all of the user inputs that they put in or also get the length of your string, depending on what type of program you're writing. Okay, we're gonna take a break, but while we're taking that break, I want you to go ahead and just play with that a little bit. I'm gonna talk about this book I just finished. Hatching Twitter is probably the most nerve-wracking book I've ever read, and it's actually happened everything in it it's insane but these guys i mean it's just a look at the ego of people so i'll just go over real quick these are the three co-founders this is jack dorsey he originally wrote the program for twitter and this is evan williams evan williams funded twitter with his own money for several years while twitter wasn't making any revenue and then this is biz stone and biz stone is just He's just a guy that knows how to make friends. I honestly, he's just like the managerial guy. He gets all the employees amped and up. He just got a great personality. But then there's also Noah Glass, and I don't know if he's actually on here. Yep, he's right here. Here's Noah Glass. Noah Glass was there originally, and he was pushed out of the company early on, and because of ego stuff because people wanting the power and wanting a percentage of the company and wanting the name. And so these three founders, they fight all the time about 
who is the founder of Twitter? I mean, if you go Twitter founders and you hit web, it's like Twitter Inc. founders, Evan, Jack Dorsey, Biz Stone. And reading this book, you know Jack Dorsey's just pissed off that he's the second listed person. Biz Stone is probably happy, but I, I, it's just interesting the way that people act. Anyways, read that and you will change your mind about everything. Hatching Twitter, the novel, I'll put a link to it in, uh, in the description. And let's get back to coding. The last thing we're going to be going over is targeting parts of a string. So go up to File and select New Ruby.RB and create a string that's called Star Wars 7 is equal to, and then we're going to do Jar Jar Binks. Han Solo Luke and Lens Flare So here's our string and we only want to see what we want to see in Star Wars 7 So what we're going to do is put puts and type Star Wars underscore seven. And then the very next thing you do is you put the block. So how you call what you want to come out is over here, you're going to target the numerical number of the order of that item. So the J in jar is actually zero, the A is one. You can see that here, targets characters two through six. And we write that with the two periods in the center right here. So in order to get just Han Solo and Luke, we need to check to see where Han starts. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we're gonna write fourteen dot dot and then we're going to fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty six. And then we're going to go up to File, Save as Star Wars, then open your command prompt with Ruby, and hit Enter. And so the only thing that we're going to see in Star Wars 7 is Han Solo and Luke. We can actually target just specific characters as well. So if I do puts star underscore wars underscore 7, I can just do the bracket and target the A in Han would be 15. Save. And then you have Han Solo Luke, and then it also outputs the A in Han. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hope you will like and thumbs up the video. And also, don't forget to check out that Hatching Twitter book. That It's just nuts. I can't even explain it to you, but I literally was like biting my nails as I was reading that book, and I read it in a day. It was just so crazy because it actually does help you in the industry to know as much as you can about that industry that you're going into. So the more that you know about all of these people and about all of these companies and all the stuff that is going on, the more valuable you'll be as an individual to any company that you ever go to. Chris Saka, he's an angel investor, and he talks about this all the time, and it's about becoming lethal in your skills. 
So that's my advice to you is to just be as well-rounded as possible. Um, don't just know one language. Learn as many languages as you can. You want to get super good at one language because you need to specialize in something, but you don't you want to know as much as you can about Java. You want to know as much as you can about C++. Again, read books that aren't in the industry. Read science fiction. Read read nonfiction. It all is going to help you become a better, more rounded human being, and it's going to help you perform a lot better. And that's really all I have for you. Have a good night.